My name is Atenas. I am a botanical artist specialized in botanical printing or eco printing. I am also the founder of Escarabajo. And today I want to share with you how to use our wild colors natural dye kit. Let's print it. First of all, I would like to introduce you the kit. This is our wild colors natural dye kit by Escarabajo. You can find the link in the description box. It comes with instructions, dyes, and ready to tie garments. The first thing we'll do is we're gonna soak your ready to tie garment in cool, warm water for about an hour. I normally massage the fabric for a little bit so then I'm making sure everything is getting wet. On this waiting time, I recommend you to take a look in the back side of your guide. I left you some interesting information about every single dye that comes in your kit. Are you ready to print? This is the fun part. Squeeze out the excess of water of your fabric and lay it on the table. For easy cleaning, make sure your table is covered. To find the right side of the fabric, look at the seams. Stretch your fabric on the table and fold it in half. Roll it up for one side of the fabric. The first dye I will apply is the marigold. The order how you place the dyes, it doesn't really matter. Take some flowers in your hand and break them down and place them wherever you want to have them print. While doing this, let me tell you something about marigolds. These flowers provide a range of hues from bright yellow to dark red. They are native to the Americas and marigold dye is stable and light fast, so it won't fade or run when washed. Once you have your desired design ready, make sure all the borders of your fabric still have some of the dye. For my design, I think it's enough, so I'm gonna save this flower for later. The second dye I will apply is the cochineal. This is from all times my favorite. Take in consideration that this dye is extremely beautiful but extremely strong. This dye is created by a small little insect who grows in a Mexican cactus. It releases colors like pink, purple, red or oranges. The next dye we are gonna apply is a combination of logwood and Brazil wood. This dye is also very strong, so please measure it first in your hand. Brazil wood produces a red fuchsia dye, and logwood produces dark purple to black dye. They both are native to Central and South America. Even if you don't see the color right now, it will be there, so make sure everything is even. Our last dye we'll use is Mother Root. This dye is obtained from the roots of the plant in the Rubia genus, which are native to Europe and Asia. It produces a range of colors from bright red to reddish brown. You will have leftovers from all the dyes, so you can explore with them later. Take the border of the roll you did previously and roll it down. To obtain an even print, roll the corners inside the fabric. In your kit, you will find a wood stick. This time, we won't use it. Instead, we will keep folding the garment until obtain a roll like this. In your kit, you will find a cotton thread. This is the time for using it. First of all, you will do a knot to start the rolling. As you can see, some of the dyes are starting to release the color. You will roll this bundle very, very tight until the end of the thread. I don't like to do a complicated knot so then it will be easier when I open my bundle. Cover your bundle with aluminum foil. It will protect it to don't get burned and also will protect it to don't get any mark from the pot. Use a pot that is exclusively used for this kind of craft. I will use this pot that is meant to be used for asparagus. I add some water, add my roll and close it. And this is ready to take into the fire. Steam it for about an hour in low heat and make sure you always have water. Passing that time, turn it off and leave it overnight. And here we are, we have our bundle ready to be opened. As you can see, all the color has been released. Don't forget to cover your table, all these dyes is still pretty strong. 
<sighs> so much color, I love it. I love that every single print is one of a kind and has its unique pattern. Look, a cochineal, you can see how strong it was and still some color inside. For making my life easier, I use a brush to brush everything inside the fiber. So then, after that, I will shake it outside. Once you shake out all the material left, it's time to rinse it. Rinse it a couple times with cold water, so then all the extra dye can get out. For washing it, I do a soap solution with cold water and dish soap. You just need a couple drops of that soap, enough for making some bubbles. For last, you just need to rinse it with same cold water. It is a sunny day today, so I'll take it outside to get dry. Once it dry out, I iron it and it's ready to be used. The results always amaze me. Let me know in the comments if you like your results. Also, you can keep playing with the combination of these dyes. Create your own combinations and never stop exploring. I hope you find this video helpful. You can find our Wild Colors Natural Dye Kit at the link at the description of this same video. Please like and subscribe, I post videos every week. I'm gonna leave you here this video of how to press and preserve flowers for botanical printing. See you there and see you next time. Adios!